here from Aunt M's Quilt and M's Scrap Bag, and today I'm going to show you how to make quick and easy pinwheels. Whip them up quick and fast. They're so simple. They go together super easy. Thanks for watching my video. Remember to like and subscribe. All right, let's get started. To do some scrap busting pinwheels, I'm going to use my AccuQuilt Go. I'm going to use this that does the three inch half square triangle. Um, you can also do it with your cube half square triangle that's three inches. You could do it smaller, but I'm making six inch um, pinwheels, so I'm using the three inch. So if you use this one, you'll have to put fill it twice as many times because it only gives you two, whereas this one gives you four. So what we're going to do is go through our scraps, and we're just going to start loading this up six high. I kind of put these lines on here so I know where my marks are as I fill up my die. And I get my six layers on. I'm going to put my cover over. I'm going to turn my go on. And I'm just going to feed this on through. And we'll just grab our half square triangles and we'll just start arranging these into half square triangles. Put them together the way we want. I've chose these color combinations and I'm going to sew all of these into half square triangles. Once you get your half square triangles sewn, I just like to set the seam. That means I press it before I um, fold it back one way. And then I press to one color, um, usually the darker one. And then we're just going to make our pinwheels. And we'll sew those together, each set. So you can continue pressing toward the same color that you did in the beginning. And then if you pop your seam in the middle, you can spin that around. Um, I have a video for that. I'll put that a link up above and then a link in the description below. And you'll end up with three fun pinwheels. So rinse and repeat for how many you need, but it's a great way to scrap bust some great pinwheels. Thanks for watching. Bye.